morning welcome back to another weekly vlog um it's a bit of a different one this week because we've got noah today rather than having him on wednesday and thursday um because it's well because it's half term uh richard has got him on wednesday and thursday um but we've got him today because richard and lisa have gone to a wedding so we're looking after him today and also overnight um so yeah i've been up i helped with his breakfast we then watched a bit of Peppa Pig <laughs> um, and he has now gone down for a nap. Um, he is not having his dummy anymore when he sleeps. So, well, he's having it at night but not at nap times. And yeah, he's obviously not massively happy about that but he's done really well so far to be honest. Um, he settled down really quickly. He has just been crying a bit now but I think that's because the dogs were barking. So I just popped in and like settled him back down again and yeah he's been fine so he's doing well um i think while he's sleeping i'm gonna go and start editing a video and then i think this afternoon me my mum and noah are gonna go over to asda just want to have a look at the kids christmas jumpers um just trying to kind of get things as much stuff done now before my operation as i can um and if i can get christmas jumpers for the kids that i want to send christmas jumpers to then that's one less thing to worry about so i think we're gonna go and have a look at that and just look at a few other things um pop no in the trolley so hopefully he'll be okay um so yeah that's the plan for today um so i'm gonna go and start doing some editing while he's still asleep get him up for his lunch and then we'll head over to asda okay i have managed to edit my video which i'm really happy about that's just exporting um so i might be able to get that up later today or tomorrow um, now he's woken up a couple of times just crying a bit but I've gone in and just sort of stroked his tummy for a bit and he's gone back to sleep which is good but I think he's actually awake now because he's kind of chatting and singing quite happily which is what he does when he's kind of woken up properly and is ready to get up so I think I shall go and get him up because it's nearly one o'clock so it's definitely lunch time so let's have a look and see if he's awake Hello. Is anybody there? Huh. Who is it? Huh. Oh, are you ready to get up? Huh. Oh. Are you got Ellie? Are you happy now? Yeah. Are you feeling happy? Yeah. Yeah. Larry. Oh, you've got Larry. Larry. Yeah. Now, why are your curtains open? Because Jenny came in earlier and I thought you were going to get up. But you went back to sleep again. <laughs> right, are we going to get up and go and find Nanny? Yeah, and find some lunch. You've got a funny hair day today, haven't you? Have you got funny hair day? No, a funny hair. Right. Should we get you up? Yeah? Noah, up. Noah, up. Go on then, you get out the cot. Up. Out the cot. How many teddies have you got? Larry. You've got Larry. Yeah. You've got Tedder. You've got Gruffalo. Yep. And you've got Ewan. Duck. And you've got Ellie. Oh, oh Ellie. Yeah, I think Ellie's under the blanket. Is Ellie hiding? Come on, Ellie, where are you? Who's Larry. that? Oh, who's that? Oh, you have got so many teddies in there. And he wants to bring them all downstairs, so this is interesting trying to get him downstairs with about seven or eight teddies. Oh, Ellie! Yo, is Ellie hiding? I didn't oh. find it. You find it? Well done. Right, let's open your blind first. Because you need to let the sun shine in. Oh, it's right. bright. Oh, there's lots of leaves in the garden. There's lots of leaves. Have you come off the trees? Oh dear, have you got a cough? Have you got a cough? Nappies. Those are your nappies for later because you're staying the night. You're going to sleep here tonight? Oh, 
Well, who are you trying to find now? Larry. Oh, Larry. Where's Gruffalo? Can you say Gruffalo? Yeah. Gruffalo. Right, come on then, let's get you up. Um, so, we've had our lunch. Noah's eating a brilliant lunch. And now we're going to head over to Asda. We're going to Asda. Asda. Um, oh, Jenny's gone all blurry. Um, yeah, we're going to go over to Asda. Noah's going to have a ride in my car. What colour is Jenny's car? Pink. It's not. I wish it was pink. pink. It's yellow. Um, and then we're going to pop him in a trolley, I think, and have a little look round. Are we going to go and look in Asda? Yeah. Are you Noah's been singing all day, so we may have singing all the way around Asda, um, <laughs> which could be interesting. Can you do some singing? Oh, doesn't that? <laughs> this is what we've had all day. Um, but. I'd rather he did that than cried, so we're all good. Anyway, we're going to get ready, get our shoes on. Jenny needs to... Polly is making a lot of noise. So we're going to get ready and we're going to go to... We are back from Asda. I'm not feeling very... I can't even speak. I'm not feeling particularly well. I'm just having really bad problems with my stomach at the moment. Um, and it's causing a lot of pain, which isn't much fun. Um, but no, Asda was okay. No, it was really good. Um, I'll just show you some of the bits we got. He did manage to con me out of two toys, or well, two presents. Um, I said I was going to buy him one, and then we ended up with two. So we ended up with a little uh, Pepper. Well, this is George um, in the dinosaur because we saw that, and yeah, he, he liked that. So that was like four pounds something. Um, and then we also got a, that's not my dinosaur book, he loves these books, we've got quite a lot of them, um, but we don't have this one and he is quite into dinosaurs at the moment, so he was reading that as we went round Asda and he kept like roaring at all the other customers which was quite sweet. So those are the two things that I got for him um, and then we got some other bits as well which I can show you now. Right, so I picked up this jumper. Um, for my friend's little boy. Um, I think I've said it in a video before, but I, um, well, I have in previous years for my godson and my friend, my best friend's son, um, done like a little pre-Christmas box, which had like a jumper, a DVD, a book, and an advent calendar in it. And there's a few more children this year, so I'm kind of cutting back a bit, but I'm still going to get them all a Christmas jumper. So yeah, this is for my uh, one of my best friend's children, he's also my godson. Um, I just thought it was rather cute and it's got little sparkly antlers and yeah, I thought that was fun, so that was nine pounds. And then for my best friend's little boy, um, I got him this one. I don't know if it's really difficult to hold these up. Um, so yeah, I got him this one, which has just got little Father Christmases all over, and then some of them have got little pom-poms. Um, they actually have adult sizes as well, so if you wanted to match, you could, and it's in age 1 to 14. Um, this one was also £9. My mum then bought Noah some new pyjamas, and they have got Olaf on them. We thought Auntie Becca would like these. Um, Again, you can get them in one and a half to age seven. We got two to three, which is just crazy. Um, and those were eight pounds. Um, we did also pick him up some wellies. Ooh, just stuck on those. Um, yeah, so these, let me just turn them around a bit. Yeah, so we picked up these Peppa Pig wellies for him. It was really difficult to try them on in the shop because they're stuck together. He was in the trolley, didn't really want to try them on. Um, and I think we've got a size too small, so these are a six, and I think we're going to need a seven. Um, but those were nine pounds anyway, so we are going to probably change those for a bigger size. And then earlier we were looking for a bedtime story to read Noah tonight, and my mum thought we had, um, we're going on a bear hunt, but we can't find it anywhere. So we've picked up, we're going on a bear hunt and we've also got the very hungry caterpillar because they're both just 
classics so we've got a couple more books to add to our ever-growing children's bookshelf and then I treated myself to a Christmas jumper so we've gone for this one which has got Mickey and Minnie on it, it says Merry Christmas and it's got these sequins that kind of you can kind of go either way um, and they're all over so you, <laughs> there's tons and tons of sequins um, and it's I think it's soft inside yeah it's like soft and fluffy inside which is really nice um, it was £16 and I got it in a medium and then this isn't the best way to display it but I saw this jumper which is a kind of like mustard yellow and it is so incredibly soft um, so I thought I'd try it on and I really liked it so I've gone for this as well thought it would be quite nice while I'm recovering from my surgery because it's soft and warm um, I got it in a medium again I think and that yeah medium and it was £16 um, it even tells you how to wash it if you need that um, so yeah I really like that I think that will look really nice in the well now that it's autumn right and now I am just crushed out on the sofa for a bit watching Peppa Pig I know Peppa Pig very well these days um, while well, Noah's dinner cooks and then I think are you putting him to bed Rebecca? Rebecca's gonna put him to bed I think mum and I need to pop down to Waitrose because we need to get pumpkins um, and we looked in Asda but there wasn't a great choice so really we're gonna have a look in Waitrose and hopefully get a couple of pumpkins um, while Noah and Becca have a little bit of time together are you spending time with Becca? Yeah. That's what I reckoned. <laughs> That's what Siri reckoned. That's what Siri reckoned. Are you talking to Siri? Day out. you really must take better care of Yes. You are a very naughty Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. No, he's having a crazy hair day today. It's just gone completely like fluffy at the back. It's fluffy, and then there's. I, I actually don't know what's happened to it. We've tried to brush it. It's just, it's just sticking out. It's almost like Maisie's was when she was born. Have you got crazy hair like Maisie? So yeah, just gonna have a bit of a, a rest. Um, I'm exhausted. Oh, we need to change your nappy. Should we change your nappy? Noah? Noah, who do you want to change your nappy? Becca or Jenny? Becca and Jenny, <laughs> fabulous. Let's get this nappy changed, have a little rest, and then we'll have some dinner. Does that sound all right? Does that sound good? He's talking to Sarah. Oh, right. Is it all today he's been going, yep. Can you do, yep. Yep. All right, come on then, let's go on with it. Good morning. I am feeling a bit tired after yesterday. Um, it was a busy day, um, but I'm up and dressed and I'm going to have my hair cut, hence why I haven't got my glasses on, I've got my contacts in. I just feel really weird without glasses these days. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and have my hair cut um, and then I think my mum and I are going to pop down to Waitrose to look at pumpkins because we didn't get to do it yesterday evening in the end um, and we need to get some before tomorrow because that's when Emma's coming over to carve pumpkins. Um, but yeah, looking forward to having my hair done, just having a bit of a chill out and getting it looking slightly better. Um, and then that's it, I don't really have any other plans today, thankfully. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more of a quiet day. Um, just getting on with some bits at home. I'm back from having my hair done. It feels much better. Um, and I might keep it down for a bit. Because I don't, I don't wear my hair down much anymore. I always used to wear it down and, yeah, kind of stopped doing it. But maybe I'll start again. Um, <clears throat> I found it really hard to stay awake at the hairdressers. Um, I think because it's quite relaxing like having your hair done as well I was like my eyes I could just feel my eyes going um, so yeah but I managed to stay awake so we did all right um, I then posted some letters and parcels and stuff in the post office next door um, and now I'm home and I'm just waiting for my mum to finish doing something and then we're going to pop down to Waitrose and see if we can find some pumpkins so I'm just going to have a bit of a rest on the sofa try not to fall asleep um, and then hopefully go and get some pumpkins. 
So we got our pumpkins. Um, they actually had quite a good selection, which was nice. So we got a couple of nice ones. Um, and then when we came home, I've just been having a lie down because I don't feel particularly good. Um, I think I said yesterday that um, my digestive problems are really playing up at the moment. Um, and yeah, they're just completely draining me and making me feel pretty awful, to be honest. So I've just been lying on the sofa with the telly on, which I feel ridiculously guilty about because I feel like I should be doing something. But it's not like I'm choosing to do this. It's because I don't feel well. So yeah, that's it. Um, I think I'm going to have some soup for lunch. It's a bit of a late lunch today, but I just, when I got back, I just really didn't feel like doing anything. Um, so my mum and I are going to share um, some like fresh soup and bread so hopefully that will go down all right um, and then once I've had that I think I might try and just go up to my office and get my video up um, and then see see how I feel whether I start writing a blog post or do some editing or just come back down and lie on the sofa again um, but yeah I think it's just going to be one of those days today where I have to just listen to my body and accept that I can't necessarily do what I want to do which is frustrating because I feel I'm always trying to push myself and to almost like not listen to my body but sometimes I think that that's all you can do and that's the best thing for you so yeah that's that's what today is going to be I think. Good morning I'm feeling a bit better this morning so far so hopefully that continues um I've got my sister-in-law Emma coming round any time now with my niece Na uh, Maisie. Can't speak today. Um, yeah, Emma's coming round because me, her, and my sister Rosie are going to carve pumpkins today. Um, bought some pumpkins yesterday, and yeah, going to get them carved today. I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do, so I need to have a little flick through Pinterest and try and get an idea. Um, I'm just hoping it goes better than it did last year because my one last year yeah i just cut out all the wrong bits and i got really confused so fingers crossed this one works better they think they might be here because the dogs have just started barking so i'll show you what we get up to has just been sucked out of me um the pumpkin carving took a lot longer than expected i think i just the design i picked so i decided to try and do rex which i'm not sure it looks like rex but it does look like a dinosaur so that's something um and because it's got quite a lot of little lines it was just taking ages to like get the pumpkin out so that you could actually see light through it um but yeah, we've all all three have done all three of us have done them now. Um, Emma's taken hers away with her. I might try and um, film ours maybe tomorrow when we put them out when it's a bit darker because I did film them on here a bit, but it wasn't very dark, so I don't know how well you could see them. Um, 
but yeah we had some lunch with Emma which was nice um, and obviously have cuddles with Maisie and stuff and then just as Emma and Maisie were heading out the door Richard and Noah turned up so we spent a bit of time with Noah and chatting to Richard and stuff um, he's gone now and I'm going to try and do a little bit of editing on my weekly vlog I think because um, that needs doing I could really do with writing a blog post but I'm going to try and do the weekly vlog first and then it might just be that I just write my one blog post about my operation and everything um, but yeah I'm just I don't know all of a sudden I just feel like I have got no energy at all and I just need to close my eyes so I don't know how much editing I'm going to get done before I have to give up but I'm going to try I don't know if I'm coming down with something else but I've got I like keep getting really sore throat and everything uh, and I could just really do without it if I've got my operation next week but anyway, I'm going to try and get on with some editing and then I might just go and have to have a bit of a lie down and just, uh, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me this week. I just can't seem to, like, motivate my, well, not even motivate myself, I just can't seem to find the energy. My blood test results have come back and although my iron is, like, a little bit lower than what is, like, the optimum number for your iron levels it's not ridiculously low like it has been before um so that's unlikely to be kind of causing any symptoms my potassium was absolutely fine this time so i don't know if that was just a bit of a blip so i don't really know what's going on but all i want to do is sleep which is not helpful um but yeah i'm gonna try and get some of this editing done and then just give up for the day i think just been editing my weekly vlog and my sister's got home from work and I just thought I'd show you these they like storytelling spoons that she's been making so these are the first set that she did which are for the Gruffalo and she's like drawn let me show you there we go she's drawn like all the characters on there um I don't think they've got anything on the back of these ones so that's the Gruffalo and then these ones are from the book Dear Zoo, so got a little like parcels on the back of each one, and then the animal on the other side, which look really cool. Oh, no, I've done that one. I haven't finished that one. Um, and then I'm guessing this is the Stop three. The, the three pigs. <laughs> is that what it's called? The three little pigs. The three little pigs. <laughs> so you've got the wolf. And then, and just, I'm putting my house as amazing. Oh, right. And then we've got the three little pigs. What other stories are you going to do? Hungry Caterpillar. Uh-huh. Um, Rumble in the Jungle. Possibly, if I can be bothered to draw any more animals. <laughs> um, or going on a bear hunt. Oh. Well, I can always help if you want me to do any while I'm <laughs> recovering from my operation next mm, week. Something don't mess them up. How rude. I look really good. I know. I, I think know. the Gruffalo ones are my favourite. They're really cute. Although yeah, well, Noah, Noah did think that this one was a rabbit. Really? He did. When we asked him what it was, he said rabbit. I didn't know. I yeah. You sent me that video. But to be fair, I did all of these ones at work today. Oh, all right. Okay. So you've been doing Then I had, like, time myself. Like, Ah, they're very good. Good morning, please excuse the bad lighting. The sun is out and shining and actually it's really quite warm in the sun. Um, I was sitting in the sun in my group and I've got this big jumper on and I like, <laughs> I like rolled my sleeves up and I was getting a bit like hot and flustered. Um, but yeah, that was my last group before my operation. Um, so yeah, feeling a bit, a bit real now. Um, had a bit of a chat in the group about it which was helpful um i can't really say when i'm going to go back because i just don't know what my recovery is going to be like so we're just going to kind of play it by ear and see how i get on um but yeah oh getting here was a nightmare um so it usually takes me i would say about 45 minutes to get here it took me nearly an hour and a half um basically a road had been shut i don't know what was going on um but I just got stuck in traffic that wasn't moving. Um, and I was getting really quite anxious. Like I'd rung ahead and said, look, I'm not gonna make it on time. Um, and I was getting a bit worried. But actually when I got here, there was only one other person here. So 
I'd managed to get here um, second and then two other people came after who had also been stuck in the traffic so yeah I wasn't the latest um, but yeah I might have to take my coat off I'm getting a bit warm <laughs> um, anyway I'm gonna head home now I've got a massage later this afternoon but apart from that I think I'm just gonna get on with um, some editing and little bits and bobs at home Today is proving to be one of those rather unproductive days. Um, I got home from my group and we had a guy here that was fixing my dad's coffee machine. So I said, I said, oh, I'll just go and sit in the lounge and put the telly on for a bit until he's finished. And then I'll sort out my lunch when he's not, not in the kitchen. And um, I fell asleep. <laughs> um, so yeah, that wasn't quite what I had planned, but yeah i'm really really tired at the moment i'm not sleeping very well because i think i'm getting myself anxious about my operation next week and my appointment tomorrow um so i guess i just needed the sleep so i'm having quite a late lunch now um well i've nearly finished to be honest um and then in a little while i'm going out for my massage i wouldn't it would have normally been next week i think but um because obviously i'm going in for my operation next week I decided to have it a week earlier and yeah because I don't know I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to have massages and stuff like that again one because I'm not sure how good I'm going to be getting upstairs um, and that's where I have to get upstairs to get to the person and two I don't know sort of how I'm going to be you know like lying down and all that kind of thing um, so I wanted to kind of make the most of it before I go into hospital um, so yeah I'm just uh, I don't know I just feel like I'm on a complete go slow I keep saying it it feels like my batteries have been taken out um and I just feel quite sluggish and horrible which isn't much fun but I don't quite know I'm not 100% sure why or whether it's just like chronic illness in general or whether there's something else going on but um yeah there we go just have one of those phone calls um because my mobile phone rang and a lot of the time I won't answer it if I don't recognise the number. Um, my kind of thinking is, like, if it's something important, they'll leave a message and I'll ring them back. Um, but it said it was a London number and it was, like, 020, whatever. Um, and obviously with me having my operation in London next week and having an appointment tomorrow, I was a bit like, oh, what if it's the hospital or something like that? So I picked it up and it was one of those, like, oh, we hear you've been in an accident that wasn't your fault. Um, so I was like, no, not that I know of. Um, but I do wonder, like, what happens if they ring somebody and they have been in an accident that wasn't their fault, and so they ring and they're like, yeah, yeah, I have. Like, what happens then? Like, do they actually do anything for you? Or is it... I like, yeah, what <laughs> what do they do? Is it a scam? Like, are they trying to get your, like, bank details or something? Or if if you say, like, yeah, I have been in an accident, do they then... I don't know do they do something for you I don't know maybe I'll try it next time <laughs> um but yeah oh they don't they, they annoy me the calls um <clears throat> anyway I'm gonna eat my yogurt finish watching the telly and then head, head over to my friends and hopefully relax a bit with a massage just got home from my massage and mum has lit the pumpkins my dinosaur doesn't look too bad actually Rosie's unicorn looks really good it is rather early in the morning um, and I'm up and dressed, not very awake. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but we're heading up to London for my appointment with my surgeon before my operation next week. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice as well. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I just need to go and have a quick drink and take my medication and then head over to the station and try and stay awake. <laughs> I've just got on the train to head back home again. Um, I've had my appointment and everything, which I'll talk to you about when I get back home, probably. I've got something for lunch, so I'm just going to take my medication, have my lunch, and then get home. So I'm back home now, feeling pretty tired, to be honest. Um, it was an early start, but um, yeah, we had to wait about an hour. Um, extra to see the surgeon but I actually got to see like the guy himself rather than one of the registrars which I was really happy about um, seems very nice <laughs> this is the first time I've met him 
um, and next week he's going to be cutting me open so that's a bit weird but um, it's because I've been seeing another surgeon and then he's gone on leave so this surgeon's taken over but yeah he seems really nice um, he kind of just like examined me a bit and also asked a bit more about like the pain and what the problems are I think he just wanted to like make sure that it's not just my EDS that's causing it but he seemed to think that the um like deformity with my femur is also causing some of the problems so um oh sorry <laughs> just moved my hip and it hurt um so yeah and then basically he kind of just explained a little bit about the surgery I couldn't quite understand like I was I'm not sure if there's just going to be one incision or whether there's going to be more than one but basically he said they'll like they make an incision break the bone and then they put um a rod in like a metal rod to hold it together so it could just be one I don't know um and yeah what else did he say so he said like we I guess the well not the biggest risk but you, you do risk it not working um and by not working he just means like things not getting any better um but hopefully fingers crossed it might make things a bit better um and also he said that obviously there's like risks of infection and blood clots and also there's a risk of the bones like not healing back together again um, and he said having EDS makes things a bit more complicated because stuff's going to move around a lot more so we just need to keep an eye on it. Um, he did also say that like because basically what they're doing is like rotating your leg once I've had this I might end up feeling a bit wonky like in my lower leg and my foot um, because essentially they're going to have to make it like, I think it's, they're going to have to make it turn out a bit in order to make the um, joint, not the joint, yeah, the hip joint like fit properly in the socket. So he said if that becomes a problem, they may have to do another osteotomy to my lower leg to like straighten everything out. Um, and obviously I still need the other leg done as well. So could potentially need four different operations on my two legs to get things sorted but we'll see um but yeah that was kind of it really he said that we asked kind of how long we thought he thought I would be in for and he said he thought it would at least be three days but it just depends on kind of whether they get my pain level sorted and when I'm sort of mobile enough to come home he reckons I'm going to find stairs particularly difficult um so well we're trying to chase up the stair lift and if that doesn't get sorted then I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do um what else did he say oh yeah I asked him about driving and he said they advise that you don't drive for like a month to six weeks at least um, and then after that it's kind of up to you as to whether you're able to whether you're able yeah feel able to like do an emergency stop and kind of operate the pedals without like too much pain or anything like that um, so yeah I kind of I assumed that that would be a lot longer actually and it might be I don't know it depends how I heal um, and yeah I think that was about it I can't I don't think I asked him anything else. Um, there'll be like physio and checkups and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it all seems very, very real now. So just got to get my head around going in next Thursday and also work out what I'm going to pack. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're home now and I'm just changing my bags over because I took a rucksack with me up to London and I'm just going to change over to my handbag. And then I think my mum and I are going to go over to Next because we want to have a little look around. I need to get a couple of bits um, in preparation for the operation um, and we're kind of running out of time to do it. So ideally I would come home and go to sleep but this needs to get done. So I think that's what we're going to do. Hopefully just have a little, a little mooch around have a look at what Christmassy bits they're getting in and yeah hopefully get the bits we need.
So we've just had a little look around next. Did try a dress on but wasn't 100% happy with it. Um, but I have ordered a couple of things to come into store. Um, and now we are in the Costa having our first Black Forest Hot Chocolates of the year. Good afternoon. Sorry I didn't really film much yesterday. Um, it was a massively busy day and I was shattered. Um, but yeah, I can't remember if I told you that we went to Next. Had a little look around. Um, I didn't really find much that I liked. They didn't, they had all the, Chris, the kids Christmas like clothing out but they didn't have the adults Christmas clothing yet. Um, I did find a, jump, a jumper that I liked but they didn't have my size. Um, so I ordered it to come into store although they didn't actually have my size to order into store so I've gone one bigger and we'll see how it is. Um, and I needed to get some new underwear. Basically, I've been talking to someone that had the same operation as me and one of the things that she recommended was to get your underwear but in a size bigger um, because she said when she had the her leg operation her leg like really swelled up and so she found it really difficult to get her knickers on. Um, so I have ordered in um, a packet of underwear in a bigger size. I don't know if I'll actually need them or not but hopefully I can still wear them and I've got them if I need them. Um, so yeah I did that then we went up to Costa and had um, a Black Forest hot chocolate and then came home and then I fell asleep on the sofa. Um, and yeah this morning has just been very very quiet. I slept until nearly 11. I was just absolutely shattered after yesterday. Um, so I've just been taking it easy, had a bit of breakfast, got dressed and now I'm going to get on trying to finish editing this weekly vlog. Um, because I'd quite like, yeah, I want to get that up today or tomorrow. Um, this evening, we're going over to Richard and Lisa's house. Um, so we're going to have some dinner over at theirs. I think they're doing, like, chilli and stuff. Um, and then we're going to go across. They literally live, like, across the road from a firework display. Um, like, our local firework display. So we're going to go across there and watch the fireworks. Hopefully the weather will be okay. It has been quite rainy, but it's kind of, it seems to have stopped at the moment. So yeah, we're going to go and watch the fireworks and then we're going to go back to theirs and have sparklers in the garden. I think they're going to put a fire pit on and we're going to toast marshmallows and all that kind of stuff. So it should be really nice. I'm looking forward to it um, as long as it doesn't rain. Um, so that's why I'm just kind of taking things fairly quietly for the rest of the day. But yeah, I want to get this video edited and finished and then I can kind of enjoy the fireworks without worrying that I've got more editing to do finished editing my video I was just gonna go down and get some lunch um, but Becca has been shopping so we're just gonna see what she's been buying um, it seems to be a thing on here now that I do hauls of her shopping stuff so yeah I thought I'd show you this one are we ready what have you been buying Noah, so when he goes out of this one, he can wear this one. <laughs> Very cute. He does not know who Olaf is now, doesn't he? Go and show. <laughs> when he's got an auntie like Rebecca, there's no choice about not knowing who Olaf is. Yes, Trinity. Oh, Trinity's a little bit obsessed with Minnie Mouse at the moment. Apparently that's my fault. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm not sure it should be obsessed with Olaf. <laughs> Ooh, Rebecca was just saying that all of her hauls seem to contain pants. And this one is no exception. Mm -hmm. A load of Calvin Klein pants. It's gonna have Olaf on it. <laughs> Do you wanna build a snowman? Oh, I'm so excited for Frozen 2. Is it a pajama top? Mm-hmm. Cute. Is that pr most of this is Primark, isn't it? Clothes wise. Not the pants, obviously, but Yeah. <laughs> and the bottoms. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Mum wouldn't let me get the other ones because she's getting them for Christmas. Oh, okay. 
Um, how many more it's a trinity. cups do you need? Okay. <laughs> as many mouths as a mermaid on it. birthday present. Oh, it's like the one we've got, but he likes he likes quite likes drawing on the one we've got. He'll get like the pen and he'll draw like a squiggle and then he'll be like, that's mummy. <laughs> so I shall be interested to see how he gets on with that. And then the man at the till sold me this. <laughs> well, it was all his fault. It was. I swear we've got that already. Emma's got it. Oh. Uh, it's the one where you put the weird thing in your mouth and then you have to try and speak things and they have to work out what you're saying. It is quite a funny game. We played it at Christmas, didn't we, the other year? Three pounds. That's not bad. I know. It's like 19 pounds off. That'll be our Christmas game this year then? No, so, we've got to get Pop-Up Olaf. Oh no, I don't like Pop-Up Olaf. I never played it. No, it's like it might be different with Olaf. It's like Pop Up Pirate. And I could not play that game when I was younger because it scared me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Is that everything? Yeah. Lovely. Thank you, Becca. We are just about to head out to Richard and Lisa's. Um, we were going to try and walk down with me in my wheelchair, but it's still pretty drizzly, and that would mean me having to leave my wheelchair outside, and then it would get soaked. So we're going to drive down and get my wheelchair out when we need to go. Um, fingers crossed that the rain stops a bit so that we can at least enjoy the fireworks. I'm slightly concerned about getting stuck in the mud on the field with my wheelchair but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah we're going round to theirs first and I think they're doing a chilli and so we're going to have a bit of dinner and then I'm going to go and watch the fireworks and then go back to theirs again afterwards for sparklers and marshmallows and s'mores and that kind of thing. So yeah fingers crossed that the rain stops a bit and Fingers crossed that I can find somewhere to park. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon. afternoon um we had a nice time last night at the fireworks um so we had our meal at richard and lisa's which was very nice um no one was on top form um 
and then we walked over while I took my wheelchair over to the fireworks and it was raining when we walked over so we got a bit wet but once we'd got like into the school where they happen um the rain seemed to stop um and I did manage to get on the grass it was rather muddy but I didn't get stuck so that was something um and yeah watched the fireworks which were very nice um, and then we went back to Richard and Lisa's, um, went out in the garden and did some sparklers. And then we just loved it all, didn't mind the fireworks at all. Loved like having a sparkler. Yeah, he was brilliant. Um, and then we had sort of cups of tea and we made s'mores on the fire pit. Um, and just chatted for a bit, which was really nice. And then we came home, it was, I was cold. It took me a long time to warm up. Um, but apart from that, it went really well. Um, this morning I've just had a quite quiet morning, um, had a bit of a lie-in, I've sorted out my medication for next week, although I only had to do it up until Thursday because then I go into hospital. Um, although when I go into hospital I've got to take all my medication with me in a, like in their original boxes and when you've got like <laughs> a whole box full of medication I'm just not quite sure how that's going to work but that was, that's what we'll do because that's what they've asked for. Um, but yeah, I'm dressed now and we're all actually going out for a Sunday lunch, so the whole family, um, to a local pub, which I've never actually been to for Sunday lunch before, but it has really, really good reviews. Um, and it's for my birthday because this is the first time we could kind of manage to get all of us together. So yeah, quite looking forward to that. Hopefully that should be nice. Um, I'll probably show you what we have um, and I'll let you know what we think of the roast when we come home. We had a really nice lunch out we went to a place called the dog and partridge which is in yateley um and yeah it was really really nice noah seemed to really enjoy it and he was really good and Maisie was a little bit upset to begin with and then um she fell asleep so that was always all good um and yeah this afternoon what did we do got home oh and david and emma and Maisie came like back to ours for a bit Maisie was in a really good mood, bless her. She was like giggling and um, chatting away. She's just, yeah, changing so much so quickly. Um, and then I got my weekly vlog up and I've just been watching Harry Potter because that was on the telly. Um, and now I'm going to wash my hair, get into my pyjamas and get ready for bed. So I thought I would just come and end this weekly vlog. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have and you want to see more from me, please do give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell because that means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Follow me on social media as well. I'll put all the links in the description bar. Um, I am mostly on Instagram and Twitter, but feel free to follow me on anything. Um, leave me a comment let me know what you've been up to this week and also let me know if there's any videos you'd like to see me do and i will see you in another video very soon bye